Hello and welcome to W Series Off Track Championship Special. We're here in Austin for a spectacular doubleheader that won't be forgotten. Here's what's coming up. Rocket of a start to the inside. Hashtag more sense. Oh look, it's the time score. Let's go and see. All comes down to this. But to kick it all off, we wanted to begin the championship weekend in true off track style. So with Jamie and Alice equal on points, we wanted to whet the competitive appetite with a little bit of an American tradition. Hi ladies. Hi. So, what do you think? Cool, looks fast. Here are your keys. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it then. Let's do it. I don't know why I touched you, James. Yeah, that is a bit weird. <laughs> Who's going to win the championship? It's a tough one. Probably Jamie will do it at the end. Jamie's going to win the championship. Sorry, Alice. <laughs> Jamie's going to win the championship. Alice Powell's going to win the championship. I feel like I have to say Alice. <laughs> I think I'm closer to Jamie, so my, my card is on her. I think whoever can hold the nerves better, putting my money on Alice. I don't want to jinx anyone to say anything out there, but I think we just should just uh, all watch and wait. I don't know, it's really difficult because they are uh, really close, but I think Jamie. My absolute baller of a teammate, Alice Powell. Who's going to win the championship is Veloce. I don't want to say who I think is going to win the championship because I'd like to have some friends at the end of the season. I really don't know. Who I think is going to win the championship and who I want to win the championship are different. I think Jamie might clinch it, but I really want Alice to, and so my fingers are crossed for Alice. I think Alice is going to win. I am going to win the championship. I have still uh, possibilities to do that, so I'm aiming to do that. From just outside of the city limits of Austin, Texas, this is W Series. Alice Powell will start race one in 10th place. Chadwick in second place. Abby pulling takes pole position. P1, P1. We're racing in Austin. Emma Kim alive. It's going to get past both of them. Rocket of a start to the inside. Jamie Chadwick takes the lead. Alice Powell's looking pretty racy in the first lap here so far. She knows she needs to make places up. Emma Kimmelainen on the charge once again. Alice Powell takes fourth position from Belen Garcia. She's not prepared to give up on this one yet. Round goes Garcia. The master gets past the apprentice and takes more crucial points for the championship. Jamie Chadwick sees the checkered flag first. It's advantage Chadwick in the championship thanks to her third win of the year. So Jamie's victory put her in a great position to win the championship. But I spoke to Alice Powell after the race to find out what she needed to do to turn it around. Congratulations, Alice. Another podium for you today. Yeah, I mean, you know, the aim we said on, we spoke about it on the grid and before the race was to try and break into the top three. We knew it was going to be extremely difficult, um, but we managed it. We got a good start and we just tried to go forward. We had a good race pace as well. Alice Powell's looking pretty racy in the first lap here so far. She knows she needs to make places up. One thing you certainly managed to do today is a lot of damage control. You know, this is still looking very interesting for tomorrow. It is, obviously, we've all got engine changes, the top three. You know, I've not given up yet. I've just got to try and game as many places as possible. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to another fight tomorrow. Alice Powell takes fourth position from Belen Garcia, and Alice Powell is not prepared to give up on this one yet. Let's talk about the fun side of today's race. You had three of your good mates in front of you on the grid. How was that for you today? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, they're out there to race themselves. Um, you know, I'd never ask for them to, to help. Everyone's out there for themselves. At the end of the day, I race against people that I sort of trust. And, you know, to obviously have them in, in front of me, I know that they're not going to do anything crazy. So, uh, but I expect them to still race hard. Well, tomorrow is D-Day, the last race of the season. What are your final words before tomorrow? More sends. More sends, more Naomi. Sense. That's what I we like need. That. More, more sends. Sense. Yeah, more, more sends. Sense. Hashtag more sends. Hashtag more sends. Alice Powell, who rose from 10th up to the podium. What a drive from Alice Powell. 
Now, before we get into the final race, we're going to take a look back at the days before Austin, when the Puma Girls and myself took a little trip to New York. <laughs> Welcome to New York City, baby. Look yeah. at this beautiful building. I'm excited to see the Empire State and go back into Times Square. That was really cool yesterday. I mean, it's just a whole experience, a whole, a whole new vibe. Vibe, yeah. Hey! Wow! wow. <laughs> this is the Empire State Building. Taller than I had anticipated. I think we're on our way to. Broadway. Yeah, Broadway. Broadway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh look, it's the Times Square. Let's go and see. New York Public Library, so nice. I'm a fearless girl. She basically represents everything we stand for. Welcome to our latest off-track lid battles. This time, it's Spain versus Brazil. Can you guys please tell me a little bit about your helmet? I had the Spain almost since my first helmet when I was in go-kart. The red and white, and now in the last hel this helmet, we have black because I would like something angry. I I like Ferrari since I was a kid and that's why we choose this color. Okay, Belen, what about you? What can you tell me about your helmet? My one is also red, but with orange. And it's red because of Schumacher. I love the color of the helmet of Schumacher. I and wanted something very aggressive, very, you know, dynamic. I wanted a lot of lines. And I wanted the top part of the, of the helmet very, like, welcoming to go fast. I'm, I'm in love with it. I mean, it's like hers, but better. <laughs> Ouch. Are you hearing the competition coming out this of This is a competition. I'm going for it. <laughs> well, it looks like it's going to be quite a difficult decision for me. So why don't you help me by telling me what you would change about each other's helmets? Maybe make my pants. <laughs> <laughs> for me, well, you see, it's too much white. Maybe you could you could play with the the same shape but a different color. Maybe put something about Spain. Maybe I want it to be mine, not my country's. I mean, it's my personality. It's who it expresses. It. Well, you haven't made it easy for me, given the fact that your helmets are both. I'm scared to say orange, but that does look a little bit orange to me. Uh, it's red. <laughs> I would probably have to go with. Uh, Belen, purely because I think her colors are a little bit more bright and I think from a distance on track you'd be more likely to see her helmet. But anyway, it's not up to me. You guys can also decide whose helmets you think are the best. So please leave your votes in the comments. But for now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's the final race of the season. Live from Austin, Texas, it all comes down to this. It's the title decider. It's Chadwick versus Powell. The season finale is underway, and that is a rocket of a getaway for Jamie Chadwick. That was a big hit up in the air for Fabian Volvin. That's late, late, late on the brakes from Emma Kimmelainen and, and diving to the inside. Late on the brakes this time. Sarah Moore absolutely loves turn one. We're going to spin down at turn 12, and Jess Hawkins sent one to the inside of Sabra Cook. Alice Powell finally is able to take P6. The moment has arrived for the British driver. Jamie Chadwick wins the W Series Championship of 2021. Yes! <laughs> yes! I enjoyed that. That was mega. So with two wins in the last two races, Jamie takes her second W Series title and I got to join in on the celebrations straight after the race. So Jamie, thank you so much for giving me your victory trophy, but 2021 W Series champion, the fans. Oh, that's great. How are you feeling? Talk to us. Uh, a bit lost for words, to be honest. It's one of those, like, it hasn't really sunk in. Um, I'm honestly over the moon, so, so happy. Yeah, just enjoying the moment. It's been an amazing, well, past, half an hour or so. Um, yeah, the whole race was mega. Just so happy to obviously get this trophy back. And it's got my name on it, so it's quite nice that it's come back to me. Um, it feels like it's back home. This weekend, you know, you came in on equal points with Alice. 
and you just basically did everything you needed to do to secure this championship. How was the weekend for you? Yeah, I mean, the pressure was on, um, but I kind of liked that because I felt like the sense of occasion. I knew I had to turn up this weekend. I knew I had to do the best job I could. That is a rocket of a getaway for Jamie Chadwick. Yeah, I'm just happy that we managed to do that. And yeah, obviously to top it off with a win like we did, a bit different to how I did it in 2019, uh, makes it a little bit sweeter. Jamie Chadwick wins the W Series Championship of 2021. Well, we saw some, you know, a little sparkle in your eye on the podium there. Your emotions must be off the chart. Yeah, it's, it's, it's felt like this year I've really put so much into it. I've worked harder than I've ever worked in, in anything. Um, so I think it's just so nice when the, finally the pressure comes off and the reward is there. You've got Team Veloce with you. You've got Maz as your team principal, who's also a good friend of yours. So is it special to share this with them? I really wouldn't be where I am without Veloce. So um, yeah, I'm just so happy that I can share this moment with them and give, well, technically their, them their first championship. The elephant in the room. $500,000. What are you going to splash on first? I might upgrade my flight to first class on the way back. Um, no, I don't know yet. The first year went straight back into racing and I'm sure it probably will do being a boring answer. But yeah, hopefully I can treat myself to something this winter. Christmas is coming soon, so maybe a little early Christmas present. Well, you've had a fantastic season. You've absolutely nailed it. The only thing you still haven't managed to nail this season is exiting this conversation with me smoothly. Should we end the season? Smoothly? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Enjoy. Thanks okay, for the cool, trophy. Bye. <laughs>